They're like a dog... dog-bear kind of people who like fire. Although, I guess that's most civilizations. Fire's pretty helpful. The question is, do they shoot fire? <laughs> uh, hello, friend. There's some kind of monster creature with, like, a growth on its face. And they are all the way at the top of this place. Okay, so that's the boss of this area. The giant frog thing with a growth on its face. Okay, I can handle that. It's gonna hop around and be like, ha <laughs> no. I can handle it. Oh god, they have throwing stars. <laughs> but I do not care. Ninjas cannot beat bullets. Or can they? Well, they aren't really all that skilled as ninjas if they died so easily. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, game. That was like the only time it's moved the camera and be like, Hey, by the way, there's something over here. You're you're getting close. Come on. Make the jump. So, they're frogs and not bear people? I don't know. I have to see more of them to see the theme. Oh, we got another giant statue. This guy's holding a sword. I was hoping we were going to get, like, a big drop with him in there. What does this do? Oh, this is a lift. Oh! Okay, I guess that switch brings the lift back up if somehow you manage to get on the other side. Makes sense. <laughs> it can't just automatically detect your presence all the time. That'd be a waste. Oh, dead guy. Hello. You shouldn't go in the water if you don't know how to swim. I say as I've gone to water plenty of times with only like the bare minimum amount of knowledge to be able to float my way. Okay, we're still suffering from our sickness, obviously. It's interesting to note that the blood disappeared after a bit. Is the sickness in our head? Guess we'll find out, but hey, we're starting off with a core piece. That's what I'm gonna call these. Core fragments. How about that? Rather than just triangle-y thingies, cubey thingies, <laughs> shapes. Parallelograms. These guys have generators, that's neat. Hey, everybody over there. I can't shoot them. More frogs though. I think- I think that's confirmed then. They are frog people. The frog people and the bird people. They didn't get along, so they went to completely different places. One with water, one with just mountains. Okay, we have a decent bit of money. I can actually head back and buy one of those three- three ticket abilities. But we're not gonna do that until I have a warp point. Oh, speaking of the devil. All right. Warp here anytime using the map. Well, let me explore the temple just a bit. Just a bit and see what's going on here. Hello. This guy's a ferret. Oh. Okay, so it was like ferret dog people used to live here. And then they were chased out by the frogs. And they were captured and slaughtered, even having their heads cut off. And then they were put into slave labor for the frog people. And you're one of those slaves. We can see that because of the chains around you. And are you trying to break the chains off? I can't interact with the other guys. But don't worry, I will free you! by indirectly murdering every single frog that attacks me. Hey man, everything I do is in self-defense sometimes. <laughs> I'd gladly just casually walk by all the frog people if they didn't throw shurikens at me on sight. I really want the deflection ability. Oh, coming up more. Or if that has anything to do with this place. Oh. 
that's a big statue. All right, let me let me head back before we go too far in, because I want to be on the other side of this place, like way up here towards the boss, and then finally go. Uh, I should probably go buy that ability now. Zap the tree. Oh, I just noticed that there were more dead ferret people behind that other tree. That's a shame. So what is this place, right? Like, was there... Let me adjust myself real quick. <laughs> so when we started this game, we saw... Like, four, the four corners light up and an explosion of light happen on the city. And so is this a kind of built on the remains of that city? Because it seems like there's a lot of destroyed, or like, decay around this place, and so that would make sense to me. Or was it just a vision relating to us trying to move forward? That would be interesting. Hello. So this guy will upgrade how many health kits I have, right? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm really not sure, because his icon doesn't show anything for it. Doesn't show any increase. So I'm gonna go for abilities. Even though having like an extra health kit or extra health would be nice, especially once we start fighting bosses, I really would like uh, an expanded criteria for stuff. So what do we have in here? So I could get this triple dash ability thing, which I have no idea if that's just allowing me to dash faster. Or if it's legitimately like a triple dash in like a triangle thing. Then we have the ability to make it so my dash, all of my dashes block projectiles. And then I can have a dash attack. I don't really need the dash attack because obviously I can always just do normal dash, then attack, normal dash, then attack, normal dash, then attack. Even though dashing and attacking at the same time would be very beneficial. Meh, I'm alright. Let me look at the other place because all those abilities cost three. They're pretty damn expensive, so I need to be sure if I want it. So we have a charged up attack here. I'm not a fan of charged up attacks. Uh, I could... I could grab this. This allows me to just use my X attack to throw projectiles back. I don't know what the whole- eventually we're probably gonna have every single ability. So I'm not fretting too much. I'm gonna go for... I want- I really, really want to see... what this is like. Okay. So... <laughs> I have no idea how it works. Let me go back. So, if I... It's, it basically tells me press A twice. And now when I dash, we might have... Ah! So I can double dash, is what this is about, but it requires timing. I can't just spam A. I have to legitimately press A, then again, like A, 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 and you can see how it's counting down at the bottom? For double bars, but can I do it more? Let me see something. Can I upgrade this to allow me to jump more? It doesn't look like it. I think what we have is what we have. It's fully on there. So does that mean I can, if I time this right, I can do like a triple dash or is it legitimate? The I, the thing shows three, right? So what, actually does it? Maybe it's only a double dash. Cause it only shows one dash up then a second dash downwards, and then a third dash forward, actually. Okay. I'm just messing around with this ability. This is just... 
This is gonna be interesting. I don't think this is gonna be something that helps me in combat. And I have no idea where it's gonna really help me out because this is a timing based thing. And I'm very bad at timing based abilities. <gasps> I did it! I got three! I got fucking three. Oh, holy shit. I just, it's really fucking hard to nail down. It's a timing based mechanic. I hate timing based mechanics. No. Because that means it's gonna be something I can't just use often because it's gonna have to be something that I have to commit myself to and I hate committing myself to something like that. Because this is probably, I don't know if it's like, is there a max? I'd imagine the max is like three? <laughs> this is gonna suck. The good news about this ability is I'm probably only gonna use it to really get my way out of dodge or to jump across gaps. And I can, I have the one, two down a little bit. One, two. One, two, one, two. It's the three that's a problem. One, two, okay. One, two, three. Nope. One, two, mm -hmm. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, It's why I'm bad at like fighting games, but this is really interesting. So now I know for absolute sure that at the very least it can be a triple dash. It might be able to go up further. Like, it could probably be like a quadruple dash if you can get the timing down right. Maybe a quintuple dash, maybe an infinite dash kind of thing. I doubt it, though. There's got to be a limit at some point, and I think triple is probably where it's at. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I just did four. Four is the max. Ow. Five isn't- Oh my god, what the fuck? Holy shit! I just did nine! <laughs> oh my god! This is awesome! This is fucking awesome! My mind is just getting the timing down now. Ow! It's just becoming subconscious at this point. Oh, the human mind is so fucking interesting. Cause I certainly cannot consciously grab what the fuck I'm doing minus pressing A and hoping for the best. By the way, there's like a couple of rewards hidden on the other side of that screen. Which means that I can get a reward if I do this enough. If you look at that middle bar, it fills up as we go on. And we've got already to 42. We've already answered the questions about life, whether or not I can spam A in a timely manner. So if I can keep this up without ramming myself into a wall, I can get a reward. I can get one of the rewards behind the wall. So I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and get that and I'm gonna make sure to jump cut so you don't have to like watch me ram myself into walls constantly. Damn it, I hit the 69! I have the 69! Oh, uh, it wasn't even it was like 70%. I think you have to get a hundred dashes in a row in order to get one of these items. But there's two! Because you can see both of these sides, so I don't know if that means there's two rewards. Like, if I keep going and I get like 200 in a row, will they give it to me? I don't know. The fucking roughest part is I keep ramming myself into the wall. It's easy now for me to fucking do this dash thing, but it's fucking hard for me to not ram myself into the wall. Especially when I'm talking. It's easier when I'm not doing that. Oh, uh, thank god for jump cuts, right? Ow. No, I was so close. Oh, I got up to 85 from 69. Oh my god. This is like a mental 
This is like a mental training montage. Like, this isn't really... The sheer idea of it is really easy, right? It's probably... It's that thing that people do all the time where you're like, Oh, wow, it's easier said than done. Because it is! It is easier said than done. It's like super easy to go, Oh, well, I need to hit the buttons at the right times and avoid hitting the wall. But every fucking time, I either come to a skidding stop because I hit the button a little bit too fast, just a little bit too fast, or hit the wall because I hit the wall. I, I, I hit the turn a little bit too fast. Because there is a little bit of, there, there's a lot of unconscious thought going into this. Uh, and trying to put a conscious thought into it ends up screwing me over more than just letting, letting the subconscious mind take over, right? I don't know how to describe it, but sometimes it's just better to let your body go on autopilot and be like, okay, dash in a circle for fucking like a minute, than it is to think, okay, I need to make this turn up. Oh, fuck, I fucked up the jump. Talking doesn't help. <laughs> it really doesn't, but I'm almost there. I just need to, I, it's, it's probably 15, man. It's probably 15. Damn it. 91. 91. 91. Oh my god. It's getting way easier to get things going. I mean, you can see me kind of fucking up sometimes. But once I have the ball rolling, once I have the timing down, and my subconscious mind is hitting it, it's like, oh yeah, this isn't so bad. It's just like, oh, just hit A at the right moment. It's not even super precise. Once you get it started to like three starts, or three dashes, ow, like that, it starts getting easier as time goes on. Because you don't need as precise timing as you do for the first couple. After the first two or three, it's more like, oh, just keep, just keep it up. Just keep up the pace. Hey, I did it! Oh, I did it! Fuck yeah! Whoo! Oh, I finally got the first of the dash puzzles. So it looks like I have to do another 100 after the first 100 in order to reach the second door. I thought it was going to be one of the other uh, puzzles or one of the other abilities like, oh, you know, the AX one or the A or the AX one or just like block projectiles that are being shot across the room. Nope, you have to do it 200 times in order to get whatever is in that second room, which it looks... I don't know. It looks... Like, obviously, a dead body. Why is this guy storing a dead body? A dead body with, like, energy surging out of it? And I'm not sure why. <sighs> Do I want to go for 200? I mean, I'm here, so I might as well. I might as well. Jump cuts make this look really easy, by the way, because it's like all of a sudden like five minutes and we're done. But for me, it's been, I think, about half an hour of me practicing this and I can get a really good rhythm going. But when I start thinking, that's when problems happen, because the funniest part about this is both of the ways that I fuck this up is by being too fast. Both of them, because I can either be pressing the button too fast, and then you come to a skid? Or I can be pressing the button too fast, and then I smack into a wall. I have yet to figure out what ha- I guess you just stop? Yeah, I guess you- okay. So if you just don't press anything, you also come to a skid. I haven't found that out, because every time I fucked up by that, it's because I press it too fast. I- I have a rhythm, but sometimes I don't. Anyways, we're gonna keep trying. I wanna try and get up to... 200 because I want to see what the fuck is in that second door that is surging with like darkness energy like I really should grab that right also I'm really fucking mad that I just got to 100 while talking <laughs> uh, surprise things get easier as you get more experience and time practicing stuff no fuck 186! Oh my god! Oh, I was so close! 
I was so close and I was even doing commentary while doing that. Maybe doing commentary would be a better idea because it kind of keeps me distracted to keep on talking rather than when I was just trying to practice on my own, I had to be focusing too much on the individual pieces. And so when I was thinking about various things like, oh, am I going too fast or am I going too slow? I'd slam into a wall. If I was thinking, oh, am I gonna be slamming into, into that wall? Let me go left. I would slam into the wall <laughs> and be like, oh, hey, if I slow down a little bit, I can probably do this in a safer manner. And then I would slam into a wall. I seem to have a problem. And commentary is probably the better way for me to do it, although with that said, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I should just jump gun, because otherwise you're gonna be sitting here with me for like another 40 minutes while I try to obtain whatever the hell's behind this second door. Watch it just be like, oh, you did it. This guy died by slamming himself into a wall. And here's your achievement, I guess. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it! Oh, wait, nope, the door didn't open. We hit 200 and the door is still closed? Oh, God. This might end up being one of those challenge things that are just really fucking ridiculous. Like, oh, you have to do it 999 times <laughs> in a row, or a thousand times. Oh, my God. We reached 300 or 998, and we didn't even get halfway up the bar. What the fuck? Do I want to try doing this? Because this could be like a really meaningless thing. Like, that could give me an upgrade to my suit. And like, give me higher damage and higher health. Which would be awesome. Or it could just be an outfit, which would be meh, but still maybe awesome. Shit. I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep going. I need to do this. I am compelled. I am addicted. Even if this takes me the better part of a day, I am going to land this 1,000, what seems like a thousand dash challenge. Damn it. Oh, I'm so close. Guys, guys, guys. 660. Oh my god. We're making progress. We're making progress. I have to hit a thousand in order, and I'm assuming a thousand. Maybe it's 800. Maybe it's 900, but I'm assuming we have to hit a thousand. And when we hit a thousand, we'll unlock whatever the hell is in that second pin. Oh god. Oh shit, what? It's opened at 817? Well, I mean, <laughs> I accept your offering. What is this? Warp home to change gear. Hmm. So I guess it was kind of just like an outfit. Jesus Christ, guys. I have been at this for so long. We didn't even hit a thousand. We just hit 800 and the game said, Yeah, you know what? I think a thousand might be a little bit too much. Hit. Just hit 800. Okay. Oh my lord. <laughs> this has been... This has been an experience. This has been a very interesting experience trying to do... Uh, trying to unlock that second item. I think I've come out on the other side a bit of a different person. <laughs> There's just so many things that happened that made this a very interesting learning experience. This felt like fucking training, all right? This felt like I was having a mental montage to become better at dashing. That doesn't mean I can't have false starts, as you've been seeing here, but holy shit, the amount of times that I was getting over, like, 400 before a fuck-up was starting to become more and more consistent, and... That says a lot. That says a lot. Uh, so we're, we're gonna head back to home. It should be noted, which is really funny. You know, like, we learned about dashing in here, and now we know about this mechanic, and maybe we'll use it in combat or something. Although I, you can't attack out of it yet, uh, because it just makes you slit if you press X for the attack. 
Although you can come to a sudden stop by the looks of it if you just go for the gun. I don't know, it looks like it has a little bit of a skin th skin thing there too. But very interestingly, if you dash outside, you cannot infinite dash. <laughs> so that, that infinite training really didn't do much for the outside world. Except it obviously is going to allow us to go through the place a lot faster. Uh, minus the fact that we're going to hit like fucking a thousand walls outside. But it does have a limit. You can't do it forever. I don't even know how many it is exactly. What I can say is that this is going to be really rough to use indoors. <laughs> like those those dark ma those dark maps where you're only slightly illuminated. I doubt I'm going to be able to dodge much through there. I like how they refer to this as home, though. Like, all right, yeah, sure, all right, it's my home. So where do I go to change my gear? Here we go. So now I have like a blue cape and a... Is my sword always been blue? Let's see. My sword's always been blue. So it pretty much just changed my cape. That's what I spent hours doing. Changing my outfit. <laughs> Whatever. I'll take it. It's proof of what I've done. It's proof that... I went through that challenge for hours. I'm sure some people will find it easy. I mean, the general idea of this challenge isn't really... Oh, this is the wrong building. Uh, the general theme of this challenge isn't complex. It's basically go in a circle over and over and over again while pressing A. And the timing on the A press is pretty forgiving. I found myself being able to go, like, really fast or sometimes slowing it down a bit, which means that there's a good number of frames where this ability is capable of being triggered. It still is like, I still, like I said earlier, there is a thing where like the first couple of dashes have a little bit of a uh, harsher timing than every follow-up one. At least that's what it feels like. But this is this in and of itself isn't bad. It's just trying to do it perfectly for hundreds upon hundreds of dashes with no mistakes or running into a wall, that's rough. That is rough, but we made it to 800, so we're, we're good. We're gonna, we're gonna move on. I want to test something out, though. I want to see if this can get us over gaps that were too big for us beforehand. Because if it can, oh boy. So let me find what looks like a huge gap with an exit on the other side. So we have... Nope. Man, that's like the most disappointing thing we've had so far. Okay, so it turns out we've got this like almost infinite dash ability. However, however, this ability does not let you cross over gaps uh, easier. Once you're over the gap, you're subjected to falling just like normal. And that's depressing, no. I was so happy, I was like, all right, now I can go to dashes and I can cross them in insane ways. Oh, Jesus Christ, in insane ways because I can keep my acceleration up and basically just float forever. Nope, nope, that's not true. All right, whatever. It's an interesting ability. More than likely it will save us a couple of times. More than likely it will kill us a couple of times. We're not gonna, uh, I'm gonna try not to use it too much for like traveling around. I'm probably gonna use it as a defensive kind of, defensive offensive ability. So during fights and stuff, I try, I try to keep a mind about it. But when we're doing just normal exploration like this, it's probably better to just stay things slow unless I know I'm gonna be going straight. So like this place, ow, goddamn. <laughs> like this place, I can go straight. And there, I can get to this area a little bit faster. And we've already kind of caught up to where I was beforehand. Uh, this is a pretty far indent that allows me to explore into it, but nothing comes from it. Nothing happens. All right. But yeah, I want to try to avoid the amount of falling down as much as possible. So we can't be crazy. Ow, what? What? What just happened? 
<laughs> I, I like fell off the lift. <laughs> I fell off the lift off screen. <laughs> I even took damage for it, but the animation played out. So, oh God! I wasn't expecting tentacle monsters that explode. <laughs> oh God, there's more. I wonder if I can use them offensively. Like if an enemy's near them, will they take extra damage? I don't know. What is this? Oh, a switch. Sometimes I just have to find out what things are by rubbing my face on them and holding Y. Uh-oh, cutscene. Oh, because it's a big monster. That's not so bad. That was... <laughs> considering... Ow! God damn, the explosion got me. Considering how dramatic that was, I thought it was going to be something, like, way scarier. Oops. Okay, note to self, I should not be trying to hit small targets <laughs> with a beam attack. Ah, god damn it. Here's a question. Does my ammo share between the two weapons? It does! Aw, oh, man! So I have to be a little bit thoughtful about how I use my guns. I thought I could just spam away one and then spam away the other, but they have a shared ammo reserve, which is gonna be awful. Oh well. Hey, we see the core piece. I looked at the achievements, and uh, they refer to the core pieces as modules. I don't know if I ever get behind calling them modules, but more than likely at some point I will. Uh, we're gonna go through this door. Cause maybe I'll get a checkpoint. New? No? no checkpoint. Oh, look at that huge gap. Okay, so... We probably have to activate those two switches and it's gonna open up a bridge. <laughs> when I first saw it, I was like, oh god, do I have to cross over there? By having an ability, am I locked out of this place? I don't know. I wonder if this game is developed so you don't actually have to buy any of these abilities, right? Like, if you can do a no ability run, that would be interesting. Ow, god damn it. These fucking gun users from a distance, man. Oh no, we're gonna see if I can kill this guy, because he's gonna interrupt some plans. Ow. <laughs> I try to be a badass, I try to close the gap, and then he shot me. I'm like the ninja frogs from earlier, trying to be all zipping around and badass, throwing my little bolts rather than shurikens, and then I die. Don't get khaki, kid, or you'll fall into the abyss. Oh, we already reached this area. Oh well, then never mind. I never fall into the abyss, because the abyss is me. Oh, is that gonna go up or down? Because I'm not sure if I want to commit myself to going even further down. Also, a nice little desk. This makes it seem like a scholarly room. I mean, this was kind of like a temple. And the other place was kind of a temple as well. I think we're seeing a theme there. Ow. Fucking walls. <laughs> oh no, the enemies, they've respawned! So one really nice thing about this ability is it allows me to dodge and then come back towards the enemy once my dodge is over. Problem is the fact that... Yeah, that. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'm gonna have to repeat the entire area, aren't I? That's my own fault. Oh, good. It checkpointed after I opened the door. So I don't have to do everything over again. That makes me happy. <laughs> Thank God for that. See how the, the checkpoints are so all over the place? Sometimes the dev wants to save you time, and sometimes the dev's like, Yeah, no, you can go ahead and repeat the entire base puzzle. <laughs> Get your shit together, friend. Anyways, 
You can use this ability to get towards the enemies a little bit faster after dodging them, but you have that skid, and that skid's gonna get me killed over and over again. At least until I have my upgraded abilities, which will allow me more than likely to be able to have a dash attack. And when I have the dash attack, then some things will get better. But yeah, like this skid. Hold up, let me show you. That skid's gonna get me killed. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna explore down because we saw a big giant bridge. And why wouldn't I try to open a big giant bridge immediately? Oh my. Okay, this isn't so bad. I can do this. All I have to do is dodge. And if I wanted to, I could even dodge super fast. But I'm not gonna try and dodge super fast, because that's gonna get me killed. Because I'm gonna like try and go through one, and then the other one's gonna murder me. Oh shit! Oh well, it didn't kill me immediately, so that's a plus. I went too far. Oh son of a bitch. Oh god! Oh shit! I thought this was gonna be like the other side and have like a puzzle for me to go through. I mean, if the puzzle was killing every single enemy, then yeah, I guess it was kind of like that. I should probably actually aim this thing like this. Whoops. Stupid generator god. Ow. I'm being jerks. I just want to kill every single one of you. I like how you have, like, standard enemies that just show up in every place. And then you have, like, the area-type enemies that only show up in certain places. So we have, like, the frog enemies here. We have the bird enemies up in the mountains. We'll see what happens in the other four corners. Oh, this is gonna suck. Whew. I'm gonna burn to death here. At least this is a little bit more forgiving. Ow. I can take a couple of hits before dying. And that makes all the difference. Oops, that was an accident. What's behind here? <laughs> the health kit, okay. I like, I went to scratch my head and while I was letting go of the controller, I bumped it. What in the fu- Oh God. Ow. Fucking A, wow! Okay. We're just gonna- we're gonna get this health kit. And we're gonna- we're gonna open up this door. And that's gonna give us a checkpoint. So if I manage to die, trying to accomplish this puzzle, at least it'll just put me right back here. Ow. Damn it! <laughs> I keep missing the platforms. It should be a pretty easy bet. All I have to do is like hold down or whatever. Uh, that's gonna be the only part about this one though. So let me analyze this. This should be like pretty straightforward, right? Like I go straight to the left and then straight down. In fact, that looks like it's the only way I can get across because there's railings everywhere else. But the problem is that there are actually blocks blocking the way, or what it looks like it's blocking the way. So I actually have to go left straight across, down, then right straight across, down, straight down, left, up, left, left, down. Alright, now that I know, we can start making our way across. We're definitely going to be taking damage here. So that's fine, we can take some damage. Ow. It just activates so fucking fast before you even have a fucking chance. Oh, we're, we fucked. We fucked. It activates so fast that you don't even have a chance to, like, get across without getting hurt unless you have the, uh, the fast dash ability. But even then, the fast dash ability requires a certain timing, and so it's kind of screwing me over trying to nail down that fucking timing. <laughs> this is why you need bed kits. God damn it. I'm like, I, it's, I look so fucking stupid. I'm just throwing myself in the fire constantly. 
Fucking heck. No, I walked off the edge. Or threw myself off the edge. Son of a bitch. This is... This is gonna be a hell. <laughs> the fires of hell call to me, and this is... This is what it is. You know what's funny? This game is like... This game is gonna wear out the hell of my controller. I feel like I'm a durability machine now. You know how sometimes you listen to a TV commercial and they're like, Oh, guaranteed to last 50 years. And that means they put it in the facility. Damn it, I fucking fell off right in the last couple of ones. But that means they put it in the facility that general product of facility, and they had it subjected to just a shitload of tests over and over and over and over again. And I feel like that. <laughs> I feel like that because I'm just spamming the hell out of A. Fuck me. I'm getting screwed over by that second timing that I'm talking that, or that timing I told you about. How like the second one is a bitch. But we did it. We here. Oh no. Oh no, it wants me to get back without any help. Oh, oh, well fuck this one. Yeah, okay. We're we can't we can't do this. Not unless I have like full health packs. Uh, full health packs and full health from the get-go. If I have that, then I can get back. Oh, that sucks. That, that's a... That would've been the last piece of the golden ticket. <laughs> My golden currency. Nope. It wants me to go through all of it, which isn't too bad, but again, I need all three of the pieces. Or all three health packs. I mean, I could also just, you know, turn down the suck, but that's not happening. Oh, nice. We hit him with the explosion. Fucking damn it. It's so depressing when I fall off due to the dash. A failure of a dash. Just let me murder you. Why can't you let this happen? Just be calm, just be steady. Ow. I don't need to prove myself to anyone. Just dodge the lasers and everything will be fine. I say as they spawn in more and more enemies. Oh god. Oh shit, there's a second one! That wasn't there before! <laughs> oh, I shot my gun into it as it popped up, but I wanted to shoot the guy who was across the room. That was mean. Hello. Huh. I wonder what's supposed to be in there, because we don't see anything, like, direct to grab, but that is obviously a notable place for us to go. Just like this area. Don't have a key for that. Oh, look, a bed. That's cute. Ooh, there's a golden ticket back here. Hooray, a golden piece. Very nice. Ah, oh, shit. I'm wondering what the key things are. Because we know there's a key thing that requires... ...like, three rows of these, plus two. And so does that mean, like, it's gonna kind of be like a universal key? Like, as I collect more and more of these pieces that look like they kind of just, like, a, a with a U on it... If I can get, collect more U pieces... <laughs> that sounds creepy. If I can collect more pieces of U... I should be able to get through this place. I should be able to progress on. 
thanks to the U pieces. But I don't know. We haven't even found a single one of them yet. <laughs> 